Now, though I don't have any examples to show you right now in the corals that I'm sitting in front of, um, one thing I did want to talk about is a white stringy mucus that a lot of the corals will shed. That one's doing it a tiny bit there. Yeah, so th th this is happening on this one. So this is very normal, a white stringy mucus. Um, a lot of the corals, particularly leather corals and most species, will actually admit a white stringy mucus on a fairly regular basis. And the idea of that white stringy mucus is it's to collect any particles, bacteria, anything that settles on the coral, allowing it to get swept away, um, leaving the surface of the coral to be quite free. So if you see a coral that's got white stringy mucus on it, you can help the coral along by waving your hand over the coral and providing the mucus comes off and the coral is very stable underneath, then everything's fine. That's just a part of the coral's not natural process. On the other hand, if you do string your hand over it and chunks come off and it's not just a white stringy mucus, it's actually chunks of the coral flesh itself, then that would indicate the coral's dying and therefore you probably want to remove it from the aquarium before it pollutes your tank. Um, if it's somewhere in between and you don't think the coral is dying but you think it's more than just a natural mucus, then try dipping the coral in Revive because it might signify that the coral's got a basic bacterial infection which could easily be treated by dosing the coral with Revive. Also test all your water quality and make sure your lights are not too old. Um, if you are experiencing this issue and try and make sure that the coral is not too close to any other corals and getting stung um, or that fish are picking on it too much.